What's going on guys? I'm Will and you're watching Northwest Aqua Hobby. In this video, we're gonna be going over each and every tub and fish tank in my aquatic plant nursery slash fish room. So stay tuned guys, there's a lot to cover. But first, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I do release new aquarium related videos each and every week. Also, I propagate aquarium plants and all the plants that I propagate, I actually offer for sale on my website. So if you like what I'm doing here and you wanna support me, consider purchasing a plant on my website. That is nwaquahobby.com and I'll have a link in the description. Let's go ahead and jump into the tour. So I think we'll just start top row in the plant propagation rack. We'll go from left to right and work our way down. We're gonna have a lot of Java fern here, so uh, bear with me. So here is one tub of Java fern. This stuff is pretty mature and those were planted on January 24th. We have another tub here also planted on January 24th. Pretty similar in size and quality of growth, I guess. This one was also planted on January 24th and pretty similar as well. You might have noticed that this one was a little bit more thick, I guess, and, and more had more robust growth. And the reason why is because those were the mother plants. And I basically divided the rhizomes, left the mother plants, and then planted the cuttings in these tubs. So that's why this one is bigger than both of these. This tub here was planted on October 11th. And if you notice, the plants in the back are huge. I mean, to put it into perspective, I'll put my hand up next to one of these leaves. There is four fingers compared to one leaf. And look at all the spores on the underside of those leaves. That's an indication that these plants are very happy. And in fact, I used a bunch of those plants down here in my 29 gallon. So when we get to that tank, I'll cover that in more detail. But these plants have been growing since October 11th. 11th. So I would consider these to be like your typical mother plant. Like if someone was selling those online and called them a mother plant, that's about how big they'd probably be. These here I've got, so let me take a step back. These two tubs are Anubias tubs and they're not doing nearly as well as this tank over here. And I'll tell you why, but first let's take a look on the inside. So first thing I'll point out is that all of the new growth is looking quite a bit better than the older growth, but I have been struggling in this tank. And I think the reason why is just the lights are too bright algae in the tank kind of outcompetes the growth of the anubias so one thing i got to stop doing in here is spraying these with foliar fertilization and i also need to get some form of a shade cloth to shade out the light and reduce the photo intensity uh, moving on down to the next shelf we have a couple of tubs where i've been experimenting with hydrogen which is a hydroponic grow media and these these plants are doing pretty well i was using a specific type of liquid fertilizer in here that was lower in nitrogen and you'll be able to see a difference compared to this tub which is basically the exact same setup except the fertilizer in this tub it has like a lot more nitrogen in it so the the leaves are a lot more de developed and robust in this setup this one also uses the other type of fertilizer, so a little bit smaller and compact. It's not that they're unhealthy, they're just smaller. That's really the only difference. Then this tub, let's see, this was planted also on January 24th. These plants are doing pretty well. I do need to get in there and trim some of the, the leaves that are melting a bit, but no big deal. And then this tub, so this is also Anubias. This tub's not been doing very well either. But again, you can see the newer growth is doing better. Um, ever since I stopped spraying with the foliar fertilization, both this tub and that tub have been doing better. If you're shopping on my website, don't worry, I do not sell these plants. I'm just experimenting with them. The plants that I do sell are in here. And as you can tell, they are much more healthy. So if you wanna buy some Anubias, you're gonna be getting some of this stuff, not the experimental variety i suppose on the bottom shelf so these are two tubs that are vacant currently i don't have any any plans for those just yet but i'm sure i'll have something in there soon then in this tub 
uh, you'll notice I have a lot of Java fern leaves. And what I do is basically, you may recall that leaf that I pointed out that had a lot of spores on it. When you cut off a leaf that has spores like that, just lay it with the spores down inside a propagation setup and they will basically sprout a lot of leaves. Let's see if I can give you an example here. So see these leaves laying on the ground on the right hand side. You can see all the little plantlets that are sprouting up from the bottom of those leaves. So that's basically what uh, the intentions are for this setup. It's just leaves and those are going to be producing a lot of babies in the near future. This tub I just set up, but I don't have anything in it, but that's a good look at hydrogen. This stuff is great for growing plants, both aquatic plants and you know your typical house plants as well. Uh, in my last video, I set up this tub. This is gonna be where I'm gonna be propagating um, some java moss. And then in the future, I'd like to have, I don't know, five or six tubs of this stuff so I can offer that on my website. That's coming down the pipe. If you guys are interested in picking up some java fern, then definitely stay posted on my website and, and check back from time to time because that will be offered on my website in the not too distant future. Let's see, so I guess we can talk a little bit about storage and everything in the fish room too. So up here I've got my um, pump spray bottle. So this is what I mix my hydroponic fertilizer solution, mix it up in this, and then I can spray all of my plants. I guess I can show you a quick demonstration of that. So you basically mix up that fertilizer with some water and then you just do this. And then basically your plants can absorb a, a large amount of nutrients through their leaves actually. So when you apply that fertilizer solution onto the leaves, then not only are they getting uh, fertilizer solution from their roots, but then also from their leaves so they can grow even more healthy. Up here, I got some more tubs for expanding the farm soon. I got big plans, guys. I wanna offer a lot more than just Anubius, Java Fern, and Java Moss. I wanna be doing Buse. Um, that's been a huge request from a lot of you is to have some Bucephalandra. So I wanna work on that. I wanna also offer different varieties of Java Fern and all sorts of aquarium plants. I'm kinda of taking it each plant at a time and perfecting my techniques for propagating them. But definitely in the future, I wanna be offering a lot more plants on my website. Up here we've got more supplies for expanding. I got some more of the hydrogen clay pebbles. Got some stuff um, for shipping. And then up here we've got spare parts, extra lights, tanks, what have you. Here is where I do most of my green screen work. I just have a simple pop-up green screen that I hung with some command strips. Then I got, of course, my tripod and my ring light. This is uh, my shipping supplies, and then I got my printer so I can print packing labels and things like that. Computer, mic, uh, my desk, that's basically where I do all my video editing. Then let's go ahead and jump into this one. So this is my Anubius Nana tank that's been very successful. At this point, I've, I think I've also noticed a few things that are also different than these two tubs, which are much less successful. One is that I basically have this light on the lowest setting that it can possibly go on, and it's only on for four hours a day, versus this setup I have on for 12 hours a day. It's kind of a weird balance because the Java Fern loves it, loves having 12 hours of intense light, but the Anubius, on the other hand, definitely does not. And I think that's probably the main reason that this tank is doing so well. It just has less light. And of course, Anubius is a low light plant, so it makes sense. To give you an idea of what you know plants would look like that I would offer for sale, this one is a pretty good idea of what, what you might get. This plant here, you'd probably get something like that. That one I would offer for sale, things like that. Um, these ones over here are cuttings that are growing in, so these would not be offered for sale just yet. Um, probably in a month or two, I'd be able to offer some of those. And if you're wondering why I only have a few available on my website, it's because I don't have a large space to grow the stuff. So I basically pick out the best stuff I have and offer it for sale. And when I'm out, 
I'm out. And then when I have more stuff in stock, then I update the website. So definitely keep tabs on the website if you're in the market for Anubias. If you want to know what Anubias looks like, you know, if you get some plants from me and then plant them in your tank and you want to know what they look like, well, here's kind of a good example. This is my Anubias Nana display tank. And this one, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 Anubias plants in here. And I planted these a while back and I think I only lost one leaf to melting. Everything else has stayed um, intact just fine. So it's coming along very nicely. Sorry about the glare. I got all the lights on in here, so it's really hard to get a good shot of that one. Moving on down, we've got my Java Fern and Valisneria display tank. And this one I was just messing around with today. So it's gonna have to excuse me for the mulm. There's a lot of mulm down here that's kind of accumulated. If you've been following along, I had nothing but Valisneria in this tank up until literally today. I pulled out like, I don't even know, a bucket load <laughs> full of Valisneria. And then I trimmed these ones way back. So these will grow back up again. The, the goal here is to have this area really dense with uh, Valisneria. And then over on this corner, I'm gonna have nothing but Java Fern so that I can kind of display what Java Fern looks like as well. What else guys, let's see. So I got like my fertilizers, my fish food, things like that up here on this shelf. Um, back there I got some pothos growing. This is where I keep my buckets and my water change equipment. And then I'm growing some more um, pothos back here in a beaker, which is pretty cool. Draping down and I'm growing along the rack. Well guys, that's, that's about it. The fish room, Plant nursery is really coming together. I think that, you know, the biggest accomplishment that I'm happy about right now is having three full rows of lights hooked up and tubs also to be able to grow more and more plants in. Again, I wanna offer as many plants as possible. So the more plants I sell, the more I'm investing into the business and the more plants I'll be able to offer in the future. And I'm constantly trying to you know, strive to produce the highest quality plants available using innovative techniques and new ideas to be able to grow them and uh, offer really affordable plants to all of you guys. You know, everyone should be able to have a planted aquarium if they want one, so. All right guys, well, that's kind of my tour for you today. Sorry, this one was a little bit of a rambling um, video, but I had a lot of uh, chores to do in the fish room. I had to clean up in here and get things organized. So I just wanted to give you a quick update and let you know how things are going. Uh, if you have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to check out the website, guys. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.